I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look. I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passers-by, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah. There's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. I feel like I've seen all there is to see. But hopefully I've left a few things for the next life. Oh, it just so happens I need a letter delivered to my pen pal in Sidonia. Pay is in advance. 1,000 credit. Bless you, child. I believe you'll find Hattie at the community center in Sidonia. Just hand her the letter. She'll know who it's from. Ah, oh, 
Whenever I eat here, I cannot help but taste dust and dirt. Well, I do not think I am imagining it. ago, I moved to Sidonia on a whim. Never thought I'd stay for as long as I have. Still doing things by hand, huh? I keep telling her she needs to act her age, not the stone one. But some people think being difficult builds character. Oh well. Let's see what she wrote. Oh no. I hope this doesn't mean... Me too. But Sawadi's letter scares me. If what she says is true, I can't stay here. I need to go see her. If she's really on death's door, then this could be my only chance. Thank you for bringing me this. Are you looking for eggs, too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. to report that our stocks are currently being maintained at 90% or higher. I'm sure we have anything you might need. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? That so? Must mean something to you if you came looking for it. Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? Pleasure doing business with you. Back to it then. I 
don't mean to be pushy, but I really do need those sensors, and quickly. I need all of the biosensors if the data is to be of any use. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And... Just another moment. It is working, isn't it? Ah, there it is. A relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it's... Oh, my. were valid all along. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Well, from a certain point of view. In an admittedly somewhat selfish manner. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. Time has slowed down since you started helping out, which is good for morale. Yep. Something just came in. Scuffle over at the Dawn's Roost. Security on site handled it, but now one of them is saying the other guy stole his wedding ring. Problem is, he left without identifying the perp, so I need you to talk to Royce Elgin at the Dawn's Roost. See if you can fill in the gaps. Thank you, Captain. Always appreciate it when you lend a hand. Let me know when the matter's resolved. See you later.
this talk about death and dying. And here you are, not looking a day over 60. My friend, clearly those years on Mars have not been good for your eyesight. I'm a miner. I can't see unless I'm peering through a cloud of dust. You'll get used to the sun. Trust me, it won't bite. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I miss Martian booze. All of us, there is simply no parallel to the food you will find here. One taste, and I'm sure you'll agree. Ah, a most unfortunate incident, complicated by the fact that both parties were remediated. While I wasn't privy to the entire argument, Hugo and Octavio had been dining here together for quite some time. So, it was surprising to see them at each other's throats. I assume that would be the slender gentleman, Hugo Fournier. He was the one who excused himself after UC security arrived. I believe he lives in Athena Tower, although he may be checking out soon, but I would start there. Enjoy the rest of your day. Breath. Check. Shower. Oh, you can't believe that. Check. Damn. The liar. That like you said. That, that. It's never let me down. You are ready for some shock and awe, girlfriend. Thank you. He's you a scoundrel and a fiend, and I was wrong to ever think otherwise. Five years we were together, half a decade, and he threw it all away for that waiter. He would say that, but as far as I'm concerned, it's my property. He gifted it to me when he proposed. It's not his to return. I don't care. I'm not giving it to you. You're right. My stubbornness gets me in trouble far too often. True, I don't want to go to prison. I've had stories and they rarely end well. I see. If this is official UC security business, I'd rather not be arrested. <sighs> Fine! I may be extremely agitated, but I want no part of a UC prison. Here. Can I help you, Captain? Ah, oh, perfect. Did you manage to get the ring back? Excellent. I'm sure the victim will be pleased to know their property has been returned. You acquitted yourself well again. I dare say you might have a knack for police work. Hardly surprising for a captain of the UC Vanguard, but still, impressive nonetheless. Here, take this. It's well-deserved. <laughs> 